of P and B rock. He got everybody talking, man, because that guy lost his life just because he went to get some chicken and waffles. And the, the people who are from out there, you know, they keep saying, man, that restaurant ain't even really like that, you know, which I think is like unnecessary at this point. You know, the bigger point is he lost his life getting something to eat. And it's been confirmed by new, the detectives in the news that, or, you know, the police put it, put this out, the news reported it, that, you know, he put put two pictures up, one of himself in a parking lot and one of his, uh, and his girl took a picture of the food. And, and that, and that has been confirmed to be the bait that brought in the robbers. Dude confronted him, instead of just giving it up, he was back talking him, and dude shot him and killed him and took his stuff and left. So he lost his life. A lot of people are saying it's because he didn't, he didn't just give it up. Witnesses say that he was actually arguing with the dude. A lot of people are saying, dog, you should have gave that up. I don't care if, I don't care if you got a million dollars, million dollars worth of jewelry, give that up. Some people saying it's just unfortunate that you can't even live your life as a normal person. But he's not a normal person, man. When you're a rapper and you're wearing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry, you got to understand, you need security. This guy was by himself with this girl in the hood. <laughs> around a bunch of different gangs and um it's just crazy you know i guess he he's 30 he's you know i'm 31 so we're not that far apart but i guess he feels like he's tapped he, he know a couple of dudes from out there so i guess he'd be like he felt like hey i've been coming out here for years i moved dolo but bro you you should learn from what you from what you see if you see rappers are frequently getting killed because of their jewelry Come on, bro. Look what happened to Messi Marv. Messi Marv was recorded in 2011, that far back, getting robbed. They had the gun to his face, and he was taking out his earrings in a video. And, he put, you know, it was it was sad. You know, so I'm just saying, if I were a rapper, I would not advertise like that. I'd, be, I'd kick it like, I ain't, like I'm a normal person. I'm not wearing hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry, uh, $20,000 outfit, $5,000 shoes in the hood. And think I can just go live and post my location. And the wolves, the wolves aren't, I mean, come on. I'm in a city that has over a thousand gangs. Real talk, you're in L.A., bro. So at, at 30 years old, I feel like he should have been a lot more wiser to know, hey, I sh you know, hey, we're not going to post any pictures. We're going to get the food or we're going to post the pictures after we leave. I, f I feel like he should have been smarter than that. He felt like he could be a normal person, do his thing. And he was good in the hood when he wasn't, you know. So, yeah, man, rest in peace to PNB Rock, man. It's sad. That boy lost his life for nothing, man.